So in this video, I will install the JSON server for mocking the API and will complete the register and login form. So let's get started. For installing the JSON server, you can go to the JSON server website and you will get the command for installing it. So you can see npm install minus g json server for globally installing. So copy that command and add it in your terminal. In my machine it is already installed. After that you can create a new file called db.json. And I am creating a users since it is a login and register form and making it as an empty array. So after that you can give the command json server watch db.json. So open a new terminal and give the command watch db.json. So the backend fake API is available under localhost 3000 and we will get all the users in this URL. So if you copy this one and paste it in the browser, you will be able to see the data. Now there is no data. So first we will complete the register form and it will insert the data into those users from the code. So first we will start with the service file. We already created a service file under the services folder which is auth.service.cs. So in order to use a service, we have to import the HTTP client module. So go to app.module.ts file and import HTTP client module. So I'm importing HTTP client module and adding it in the imports array. Then go to auth.service file. Prefer that one using HTTP then I'm importing HTTP client. Here I'm adding a function called register user and it will accept user details. And we have to explain the structure of the user details using the interface. So for that, we already created an interface file. In the auth.ts file, instead of auth, I'm giving it as a user and I'm telling the structure it has an ID and the ID is a string and full name is also a string then email is a string and also password a string so once we declare the interface you can use that variable here i'm importing by pressing control dot in windows machine so it will accept user details and you have to pass to the backend api which we have created using the json server so for that i'm returning this dot http dot post and I have to add a URL. So our backend API is running on localhost 3000. So I created a base URL on the post. I'm adding this variable, this dot base URL, then slash users. Okay. And we have to pass the post data. So post data is user details. So the register user service is done. And then we have to use this register user in the register component. So going to the register.component file. In the component section, go to register and first in the HTML, you have to do two things. One, you have to make the button as a submit. So type equal to submit. And you have to declare a ng submit here. You have to add a ng submit and a function. I'm telling the submit, submit details. I have to add this function in the ts file. Go to the ts file and create a function. So submit details and we will get the form data by accessing the register form. So if you want to see that console.log of this dot register form dot value, it will get all the data which we have filled in the form. So in order to see that, I'm just adding an inspect element and in the console you can see it. Okay, I'm just adding the info here. So some test and the test at gmail.co adding the password 1234 1234 and if I click on the register you will get all the values for passing to the backend we don't need any confirm password so we can remove that first. So what I'm going to do is I'm declaring a variable code post data and I'm copying this by destructuring. Then I'm deleting postdata.confirm password. So I'm, I don't want to pass that data to the backend. Confirm password data is not need to pass to the backend, right? So I'm deleting it. 
then I have to call the function which we have written in the auth service. For that, we have to inject that service in the component. So here in the constructor, I'm going to inject private and I'm referring a variable adding the auth service. Then again, control dot in the Windows machine. So it will get important here. Then you can refer that service. So the service will be this dot auth service dot register user and we have to pass the post data. So this dot post data. So not this dot, it's a const the post data. And you have to subscribe. Then you will get a response. You can console whether it is success or not. Or maybe I'm just adding a subscribe and also error. If it is an error, we have to handle error scenario also. So I'm just adding console dot log of response. And also we have to add if it is an error scenario, console dot log of error. Okay. So here post data it is showing error because post data should have an interface user. So I'm just adding the post data as user and again control dot for auto importing it okay so that is important so now we have added register user and in the service we are passing that data and it it will call the json fake api and it will insert that data into the json we have created recently okay so in the component.ts file we are doing this just consoling right so other than consoling i'm going to if it is a success i'm going to show a toaster and i am redirecting our page to the login as well so for that I have to import the PrimeNG tow service. So going to the PrimeNG website, I'm adding the toast. So importing the toast. So go to app.module.ts file and import the toast. This toast also have some animation. So we have to add the browser animation module also. So browser animation module and in order to use the toast, if it is only going to use in a one component, you can directly go and add it in the provider. Okay, in the providers of the register component. Now I'm going to add the toaster in the login and the register page. So it is a common one. So I'm going to add the uh, message service. So, sorry, I'm going to add a message service here. If you need a detailed video of the toast, you can go and watch another video, which I will link in the description. So message service I'm adding that service will should be added in the providers and the module should be added in the import survey. So for the toaster, we need these three things, okay? For these three things is added, you can see here in the toast module and this P toast, we need to mention it somewhere. Since it is a common for the login and the register, I'm going to add it in the HTML section, okay? Somewhere under the router outlet. Hmm? Once that is added, you can see, you can a toaster if you toggle the code you will be able to see the uh, toast then in the typescript you have to import the message service this message service we have imported in the app dot as a common app dot component module dot ts file okay so instead of this providers we have added in the app dot module dot ts providers and next one is like we have to inject this message service in our own component okay so for that go to this file and here i'm going to add going to inject the message service so control dot it will ask for the import option so it is getting auto imported and on success you can show the severity success just copy pasting this one here it is showing message service add success success and the message content is register successful successfully and also I'm going to redirect to the login page. In order to redirect to the login page, you have to use a router service. So I'm just trying to format this. So comma private router. There is an another, another package called router, which can be imported from the Angular router. So that is imported. And from here, if you want to show or redirect to the login page this dot router dot navigate then you can mention the url so i have to navigate to the login page if it is an error you can show the same message service with the cbrt as error so i'm telling error something went wrong 
So our register form is completed. Now we can check how it works. So going to the Angular application and I am typing test user test1 at gmail.com. I am adding password 1234, 1234 and if I click on the register, it will show register successfully and it is redirected to the login page. So it is success. So in the console also you can see once I submitted, I got an ID with the password, full name and the email ID which we have created before. We will connect to the backend for the login form as well. So in the code auto.service.ts file, you have to create a service which will accept email and from the backend we will check that that email ID uh, we have to filter the records which is having this email ID okay so I'm adding get user by email and uh, I'm getting the email here which is string and it return this dot HTTP dot it's a get here and the base URL this dot base URL slash users in order to get a user by email id you can give like this in the json server okay so i am passing question mark email then equal to dollar email so i will get the record which is having the email which we are passing from the login page okay so in order to show what it is returning we can mention observable which is from the rxjs and we can tell our user details is returning back okay so here also you can mention the user this is the interface which we have created before okay so once this is done go to the login form so as we done same in the register form go to the html form first and make the button as the submit so type equal to submit then you can give ng submit login user i'm giving a function name as a login user copying this one and going to the ts file creating a function as i mentioned earlier the login details will we will get from the login form by accessing this dot login form dot value so i'm taking email and password from this dot login form dot value okay okay once that is done we will call this dot okay so we have to import the auth service before that so private injecting auth service here so that we can call the api auth service and by pressing control dot it is getting auto imported okay then this dot auth service dot get user by email then we will pass email as string then subscribe we will get a response and the response is an array right so we will check whether if response dot length equal to equal to one and and or maybe you can say if the response dot length greater than zero and and what is happening here is okay we are giving the response as a user so in the service it is not user it should be the user array i forgot about that because since we are using the json server we are getting an array of data here instead of an object okay so saving and if the response dot link greater than zero and response i am assuming it has only one object one email so now it is a dummy json so there is a chance user can enter the same email and password multiple times okay but actually uh, if you have an, a backend a proper backend from the backend it will check and return either an error if there are multiple users with the same email id and password or it will restrict during the registration itself okay so here we are using the json server which is a fake one which we cannot restrict lots of things so we are going ahead assuming that we only have a one okay so and i'm assuming the response dot zero dot password so whatever the data we are getting from the api we will check the password from the data and the we entered one password that is same if it is same you can redirect to the which page home page so the similar way which i have to add it in the register form you have to import the router so adding router so the router is added it is auto imported and 
you can tell this dot router dot navigate to the home page slash home and also if you want you can add everything in a session so once user log in with the user login details we can add a you know is logged in as a true something like that or we can add the email id in the local storage so for that you can add or oh, sorry i'm not using local storage for now i'm using session storage so you can either use a local storage or session storage session storage will be expired if the uh, tab will be closed okay local storage will be expired only once we clear the local storage okay so session storage dot uh, set item and i'm telling email of the user is email okay we will save that and once the login is success we will pass to home page if you want to show a toaster here you can use it okay you can show the toaster login successfully something like that here i am not showing a toaster instead i will show an error so if if the password is wrong okay so there is no such users having the same password i can show a toaster right so for that i have to import the message service so i have to inject the message service here so private message so just um, just formatting this one before private message service message service from the prime ng api okay that is added and whatever we have added for the login page so i'm just copying it to avoid the uh, avoid the typing so, coming to the ts file else message service so it is msg service and error so you can mention email or password is wrong or if it is an error if the api is returning an error you can add this add error something went wrong okay so let's see how it works so going to the prime ng and now if you want to see the existing user id so in the db.json you can see the test email id and the password is 1234 so if i am giving so first we will type wrong something wrong so at dot com 1234 sign in so email or password is wrong it is showing something like that so here i will change test one dot email then sign in you can see it is redirecting to the home page